All right, guys, I just thought you might want an update on the little chickens, and every time I do any property, people are like, where are the ducks? Just so happens that some of the ducks are hanging out right there. So there's your duck fix for the day, and there's the uh, remaining adult phantom chicken in the feed, like she doesn't belong. Um, and that's part of why we have these guys here. I like having some bantam chickens around. Uh, these guys are about four weeks old now, and uh, they're doing really well in this. Uh, basically, it's a quail tractor made by my buddy Steve Larkin. If you'd like to know how to get one of these, you can get in touch with me in the comments, and I will put you in touch with Steve. Um, but he makes these. They've got a much larger grid on the floor, so you can move small birds without crushing them or whatever, and this is so light you can just you open the two access hatches at the top and it's like having handles and you just pick it up and move it wherever you want it it's been really easy my one concern has been you know texas summers and sun and whatever and uh steve played around with some shade cloth ideas but i think something like that just a couple pieces of plywood and if this was going to be a long-term thing i'd seal them or something so that you can see they're starting to warp from being rained on last night finally um or paint or something like that and that gives you a big overhang and it also weights it down, so it makes it very, very, very predator-proof. Um, of course, if you have a shaded area, it won't matter. And I've got that piece of scrap there that my coffee cup's sitting on. I put that on one side or the other, so when the sun gets low, they don't get baked. But I just thought you'd like to see kind of the sun and what's up with them. I'd, they're about four weeks old now, and I would estimate they probably have another four weeks in here. And I do have another one of these. If I think they're crowded and they don't seem crowded yet, um, I can split them up. But I prefer to keep them together. Uh, right up until they go into the flock. That way they only really got one other chicken to get introduced to. And in the next four weeks, I got to build a longer perch. I don't know how many of these guys are going to make it. And uh, I mean, I think they're all going to make it. We had some losses in the very beginning. It's typical. I don't think any of them are not going to make it to adulthood, but I don't know how many of them are roosters. And uh, look, they want to come out the hole. Anyway, this is some Swiss chard. I've got some Swiss chard that's kind of ate up and I, I've left it in place because spiders love to live in it and then i just cut leaves off it and it'll grow back once we get out of the heat it'll be a little bit more robust and, and we'll get for us again but until then they get it um i'm also feeding them mealworms i'll put a link in the video notes to uh to, to the mealworms that i use because i just think they're the best deal you can get online um and man I, I filled that cup and they they ate till they were full and I don't know what I have yet. I have that one chicken. That is the freakiest looking, like, is there something wrong with you? I mean, bear spots. I don't know what the heck that thing is. I mean, see? <laughs> and uh, But I'm, I'm just looking at it, and I'm thinking you're probably a rooster. Just, just a feeling on that. And I know I've got a couple that are probably roosters, because I see them in here sparring with each other. Um, I believe that one right there is a Wells Summer, that little brown cinnamon looking speckled one in the middle. They're really pretty. And they're the ones I have, instead of having a tail like this, they got a tail kind of like a fin. And uh, that just looks like a, you know, kind of your standard buff or something there. Uh, definitely got some coachings. Looks like a silky to me. You guys tell me what you think. That looks like a silky. And if that's a silky, I really hope it's a girl. I hope it's a pullet. Because they are just the broodiest little that you can get your hands on. Focus problem there. But uh, you can see, even with the mealworm sitting in there, they like a variety. And, and that's what I love about these cages. Lightweight, easy to move. And this is a special material that Steve uses. You can only buy it in large amounts. Um, there's a, a knockoff available out of China, he says, that will literally kill your animals with what emits from it. And this is incredibly safe. This man's been building cages his whole life. Uh, and I think he's in his 70s now. So he, he knows a little bit about cage building. but. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with these. You can get like, I can't do it here because I can't get into the ground, but you know the row covers for plants? You could open that door right there and stick a row cover in one of these. Like, a, especially this time of year, one of, one of the ones that are made for shade. And as long as you push it down far enough, the birds can't get out underneath it. And as long as you ain't got something like I do, like cats that could come in and pull them out from under. During the day, you could give them a greater ranging area, you know, and it's not real hard to just kind of shoo them all back in the cage. And again, these are really made for, I'm finding them great for brooding young chickens. And you can see mama chicken there. I think she's uh, looking forward to having some friends again. Anyway, just thought I'd get you a little update on what's going on the farm. I got some other stuff going on, but this is our dark days, man. I, 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 it's harder to get through August than it is to get through, you know, February here. Um, we got a, a major win last night. The, 
I guess some offshoots of the hurricane down south, we got a pouring rain that was not expected or forecasted, came out of nowhere. It looked like it was just gonna rain a little bit and go away. And then we got a steady downpour for like an hour. And then we got like a half hour of like drizzle at the end of that. So the ground's actually wet. And man, it couldn't come at a better time because tomorrow's high temperature, 105. Saturday's high temperature, 105. Sunday's high temperature, 102. And then we go down into the lower 90 for that. And I'm hoping that's gonna be our last big hoorah, but I think old man summer has at least one more blasting heat wave in it for us here in North Texas. But we're getting through it. And uh, the beauty is once we get into about mid-September, that's when all this stuff takes off. And I got some cool stuff going on over there in the wicking beds. I got that planted to comfrey now. It's gonna get really, really cool here really, really soon. Oh, hey. new characters have cast on the uh, farm. Those are two Saxony ducks. Steve Larkin, who builds those cages, uh, contacted me about having some ducks processed. He had like a dozen and a half of these that he wanted to get processed. They're young, they're like 12 weeks old. Great meat duck. And I said, hey, how about you ask my place to uh, take them to the processor? How about you sell me two of two your females? So he did that, and so we've expanded the flock. And you can see how, look how pretty, full, for, full feathered, all fluffy they are, and how scraggly the other flock, the rest of the flock is. They're all in the middle of their molt, man. So uh, these guys are young. They're not going to molt this year. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Look at them digging into that charge. Remember, don't just grow food for yourself. Grow it for your animals.